He was so much respect, so much class, and they've been buddies ever since. He's been laughing with Snoop on a consistent basis, and that just shows what kind of guy Strafen is when Snoop Dogg wants to do business with you. Well, that's Madden, and Strafen will gear it up from the 32-yard line. Take a look at the playbooks, and it's going to be for Blair. The Raiders offense, the Jets defense, kind of a standard look. Yeah, that's definitely a standard look. Probably the two most popular playbooks in all of the MCS, Raiders offense, Jets defense. Um, the interesting thing with Blair, though, is he's going to mix up that Jets defense a little bit. Ravens D with Strafen. And a couple of actual Ravens on that defense, too. But mostly we're looking at Ryan Shazier, Troy Palomalu, a couple of Steelers. The cool thing about Strafen is that Dolphins offensive playbook, you don't see a lot of that. And it's because your Strafen always brings a unique scheme to the table. People say they hate playing him because you have no idea what he's going to do. They kind of call him random <laughs> in the way that he plays. It's because he's always mixing up his coverages and his formations on offense and defense. So I'm excited to see what he's going to be bringing to the table here. It turned your head to hear Phenom say he wanted him, right? I mean... That, that Let's was, go get him. That was cool. That was cool. And I, I don't blame you if you're Phenom. You, you want to go right after the best. Portis with a spin and a good opening salvo here from the purple-wearing Strafen. Yeah, and you see Strafen. He has that GGL representing Snoop Dogg as his three letters on that score HUD. Putting on for the Snoop Doggy Dog. Portis again will bash his way for the first down. Last year, Strafen used Ricky Williams. That went fine. Turns to Portis, who's a popular pick these days. Yeah, and that's the full Clinton Portis. That's a 93 overall Clinton Portis. He doesn't have any abilities on him, but that's for sure one of his better playmakers. And again, both teams will look to run quite a bit. Although keep in mind, you got Harrison, Hall, and Ross in your squadron of receivers here if you're Strafen. And look at Strafen, already goes from a... Little swerve there from Portis to pick up what he needs. Move the chains. Yeah, and he went from a split close gun formation down to a eye twin wide receiver. And this is what we're talking about early. He just bounces around all over the place on offense. So it's hard to get a keen sense on what he really wants to do. Looking to be a three time Vikings club champion is Strafen. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Loading it up from the 45-yard line against Andrew Luck as his quarterback. Portis, they're going to wear him out. As he keeps on driving, he's going to get it down to the 40. One thing I want to call out for Blair is he, he is in that popular New York Jets defense, but a lot of people run that defense for the 3-4 or the 1-4-6. Blair actually said he's going to come out in some nickel normal and try to get catch Strafen off guard with a defensive front that he might not have as many reps against. So you see him right now in that nickel normal formation. We'll see how he does with it. Blair's got both the Troyes at safety. Palomalu, who's got secure tackler, and Troy Apke, who's been a very popular pick all across the board. Good value pick. Remember, this is Mutt. Salary cap. Portis to the outside. And Portis barging his way forward to the 26. Yeah, and I have to score. You got to remember, this is a rematch from last year's Vikings semifinal, and Strafen won that game 42 to 14 in dominant fashion. So it's going to be interesting to see if he comes out here on this first drive and gets seven and picks up where he left off playing Blair last year. Blair really loaded up on offense, got an 85 grade there, but did he do that at the expense of his defense, which has a 77? He's trying to stop Strafen. About halfway through the first quarter, nice clock munching drive here to open up for Strafen. Finally to the air. Luck looking, knocked away and almost picked. Saw the bad timing ball hawk banner drop down on that. And what that means is the reason Blair dropped that pick is he was holding wide before the quarterback released the ball. And that's going to give you much less of a chance to actually hold on to that interception. Good lurk by Blair, but bad stick work with the wide timing. And you can't afford against an opponent like Strafen to be sloppy with the stick, I guess, right? Oh, for sure not. And it's a shame because he, he lurked him. He baited him. He did everything right besides time that wide button. There you oh, go. Already a three-minute drive, and it's a third and nine in field goal range here. Chris Boswell, his kicker, if it comes to that. But let's see if he'll air it out third and nine. Again, Lux surveys. Oh, my ball. And he's Get my tripped ball. up, ball out. And Wilson the other way. 
What a great job with the stick that time by Blair. And that definitely will turn a little momentum tide. Oh, that's absolutely what you can't have happen if you're strafing. He dropped so far back out of the pocket. If he took a sack, he almost would have been out of field goal range. He tries to scramble forward, allows the quarterback to get hit, and Flair's defense forces the turnover even after the drop pick. That's what you call stingy right there. All this happy talk about I.B. strafing, and you see Blair channeling his inner DiCaprio from Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not leaving. They're going to need a wrecking ball to take me out of here. <laughs> That's a great scene. I left out one key word there, but I just tried to keep it classy, you know? <laughs> oh, well done. Well played. I would think, though, I mean, seriously, you sit in that chair over there, you've got this forum, right? You're this close to $6,500. That's what you get if you're the... And remember, Blair, he's been waiting for this rematch all year long. I have the, the quote. He says, this rematch has been on my mind for over a year. I could have went to an easier club, but I want the challenge, and I want to beat Strafe. And he's got Barry Sanders bursting forward all the way to the 38. Move the chains. He's got jukebox and some other things as well with Sanders, who I would argue is the best running back to have never played in a Super Bowl, by the way. Now let's see if... Somehow Blair can get to this version of the Super Bowl, running hard with number 20. He's close to another first down. Yeah, and so far, so good for Blair. He said, the key to my game is I have to stick to my run game and not go away for it. I spent 69 cap on this Barry Sanders, plus 35 cap for the jukebox. I need to utilize him, and so far, he's doing that. Tyree Kill is the one receiver of note. You see him motioning to the left of your screen. Sanders is crushed in the backfield. That's a great read right there. Strafen took him down. Yeah, there's my guy Strafen playing some defense. He's always been known as a defensive mastermind, the way he mixes up his coverages, mixes up his formations. Dropped a little Keith Bullock on him right there to bring up a third and six. You and I just did a 42-point first quarter in a game earlier today. This one could be scoreless in the first quarter. Deshaun Watson over the middle and the first down not quite there. Interesting part of the field to hear too now on a fourth and three as we get to the end of the first quarter. Yeah, and what a game attack like Bear Walsh, Blair Walsh. You've got to expect him to get his boot out and kick this field goal. Up and Vedvik's got it, the Norseman. All right, we, we got a, a good ball game here. If you're Blair, you're feeling good about getting a stop, turning it into points. If you're straight and you knew you made a mistake in, with the turnover, but you got to feel good about holding Blair to three. How about that subtle little piece of roster gamesmanship, putting a, a Norwegian guy on the Vikings? Very nicely played by Blair. Well played. And both these guys die hard Vikings fans. They said nobody will make me move away from representing my favorite team. Good tackle in the backfield there as Linval Joseph, an actual Viking, gets it done. We talked to Strafen about playing a guy who named his team for Blair Walsh. And Strafen said, please don't make me relive that moment. One of the worst days of my life. How do you think Blair feels? He's got yeah, to right. stare, at, stare at that gamer tag <laughs> all season long. There's the handoff. Portis to the outside. And Portis with a big burst past midfield. That's a huge play right there by Strafen. And you spent all that cap on that 93 Clinton Portis. You got to let him do work. And Strafen lets him do it right there. And now he's just a few yards outside of field goal range where he can tie this ball game. By the way, Walsh did make two 52 yarders in an exhibition game for the Seahawks against the Vikings after his release. A little take that. And Andrew Luck to the Get air. My ball. Give me right my on ball. the sidelines, incomplete. It's a scary throw right there from Strafen, but throws it way out towards the sideline. Blair not able to get the interception. If you're strafing, you need to pick up some chunks here. Get in field goal range. Get my ball. That ball oh, picked up oh, in a coverage. And the takeaway for Blair. And look at Blair, my guy. Alex Cirillo, 21 years old, out of Waxhaw, North Carolina. And he has showed up to this Vikings Club Championship seeking vengeance. And so far, so good for him. There was Devin White with the pick. And now wearing white, 
Here's Blair in business, up 3 0. Now I'm going to try on, that run with Barry Sanders. And oddly enough, Blair, he came to the party with four rookie linebackers. He has Devin White, Devin Bush, right. Montez Sweat, and Brian Burns. All the, the low cap, 15 to 17 cap budget rookie linebackers, but they have done work for him so far. Burns, a popular draft pick. Speed and awareness from a linebacker, so important in Madden, right? Especially that speed. Sanders, a little loop to get free for a moment, but this is going to be third down at about 10. And if you're strafing, this seems like a passing down, but you got to be careful. You can't commit to the pass too much with that 69 cap, 95 speed Barry Sanders back there. Well, remember, it's Deshaun Watson. He's got a skate artist on him, too. At some point, do you kind of Lamar Jackson it up and try to let him run? Oh, for sure. It won't be here. It's underneath. And delivered only to the 26-yard line. That's the original line of scrimmage. If you're Blair, you have a decision to make here. Do you risk going for it on fourth down? Turning it over and strafing already be in field goal range? Hey, look at the clock, too. We're still a little shy of two minutes left in the half. Much lower scoring half than we had anticipated. And in that first semi, with Phenom putting it to the air so much, six cents as well. That game dragged a little bit. This one is kind of lickety split instead. Yeah, this is going by quick. Possessions are going to be very limited. That's why I'm really curious to see what Blair does here. I think so, he's going to get his boot out. Yeah, it's a conservative thing to do, but probably the right thing to do, yeah? No, for sure, especially when your defense has been playing as good as it has been. We've already forced two turnovers. Don't want to make anything easy for Strafen. You got to make them work, and that's what he's going to do by punting that ball right there. So look at Strafen. He's focused. He has a ton of experience, and he knows he needs to put, start putting it together on this drive if he wants to be the three-time Vikings club champion. Andrew Luck to work right away, flaring it out to Harrison, who gets decked. And again, you talked about those linebackers. They're young and they're cap friendly, but they're doing the job. Yeah, they're all fast. That's the key. They're all fast and they're all big bodies. Luck setting his feet. Luck in the coverage is picked again. It's Bush to the 24 yard line. That core of rookie linebackers is just stepping up for Walsh. He is all over the place. His third turnover of the first half. He is all over Strafen in his nickel normal defense. I didn't see takeaways being this big a factor. Did you, RG? Oh, I didn't at all. Strafen usually. Sanders kind of scissoring his way down to the 25. I mean, you got a guy in IB Strafen, the grizzled veteran, so well respected, the runner up of the final 32 club championship tournament last year, made over 70 Gs, known for having such a unique offense, and he's turned the ball over three times right now. Blair has come to play. 21 points, 28 and 21 in this tournament so far for Strafen. Nothing yet in this one. Sanders stood up as we get down to a minute 12 to go. This is a huge, huge situation right here, Josh. If you're Blair and you can get yourself a touchdown, make this two possession, that's so big for you. If you're straight, you got to do all you can to keep this one possession. Huge sequence of downs here. Sanders. Shifting his way forward. He is not quite to the 20-yard line. So it's a fourth and two here, RG. Oh, if you're Blair right there, I, I think that Palomalu only has secure tackler, so you want to try to go for the, the juke. He's going for this on fourth and two, Josh. This is big, and remember, you've got Watson, who can run it himself. Motioning White to the right side of the line. In a 3-0 low-scoring first half. Second Viking semifinal. I mean, this has to be going to Barry Sanders. Out of that offset eye. Sanders has already run it a ton in his first half. He might take it to lay a game. He's going. With Barry. And Barry's got it. So now you don't have to settle for three. You can try to put a fork in it at the end of this first half and get your seven. 
more importantly too, Josh, he gets to keep this clock moving, which is going to pretty much ensure this is going to be the last real drive of the half. Had Strafen got a stop there, he would have had a chance to put a drive together and get some points. That's a no-go no more. Only two Strafen possessions in this first half, potentially, and two turnovers. Barry Sanders crushed behind the 10. From Blair, you, you, you probably want to take a timeout right here. There he goes. Yeah, 24 seconds left in the half. And the thickened field goal is still the only thing that's happened here, scoring-wise. Barry Sanders again. Barry Sanders! Uh, he'll drag his way past the five-yard line, and we're down to 18 seconds to go. It's a third and three. That was such a big tackle from Ryan Shazier. It looked like Sanders was going to get in for six. Shazier, touchdown, save, and tackle. Another big third down. It just doesn't stop. Sanders is stuffed. NFL Rookie of the Year 30 years ago, and Strafen's not impressed. Strafen, though, yep, it gives him a little bit of life, too. That's the momentum Ryan Danzig, a.k.a. I.B. Strafen, needs to get himself back in this ball game. Hold Blair to three. That is huge right there to keep this one possession. Way to hold the door and stand up for yourself if you're I.B. Strafen. So the thickened field goal attempt, and it's good. So do you leave feeling a little hollow? I mean, 6 nothing really could have been 10 nothing for Blair. Yeah, if you're Blair, you'll take it. If you're Strafen, you'll also take it with three turnovers only being down six. This game's completely up in the air. And a reminder, in addition to the first prize check and the bid to the major, the Vikings Club champion will also receive this custom made for the winner of the Madden 20 Vikings Club championship. Of course, the Vikings have always been really heavily involved in their club championship. They've been amazing the way they jump in. They're also giving away during our broadcast a chance to win that Harrison Smith Core Elite card. So make sure to register soon at vikings.com slash Madden for your chance to add Harrison Smith to your Madden lineup. Supplies are limited, so go on and get there. Wow, 6 nothing, a defensive struggle. You and I, again, last time you and I were on mic together, it was 42-21 at halftime. Another purple-clad team, the Ravens. It's very different. Yes, yeah, a completely different style. Neither one of these guys in that West Coast gun bunch looking to air it out. More, you know, mix it up, a little bit of run, a little bit of pass, control the clock. The good news is this one is still completely up in the air. Strafen going to have to play some solid defense here to open up this half and keep Blair not only out the end zone but out of field goal range to continue to make this a one-possession game. Blair is a student at Florida State. If you're a Vikings fan, you'll know that's a, a Dalvin Cook reference for you. Criminology major, computer criminology, tells us at Florida State. Running more Let's with go, Sanders. Let's and go, Barry baby. with a zigzag to the sideline. He's at the 30. Let's go, baby. And he's decked at the 27. Barry. Yeah, and he is currently going through his finals in Florida State. And if he keeps this up, he might be the final boss for Phenom here in this Vikings championship. How about that? In between finals, you just come and take on Strafen, and you got a chance to go up on him 13-0. He says it's finals early morning, come home and study, and then lab to 2 or 3 a.m. every day. And I do it all over again, day in and day out. That's the regimen for Blair right now. All right, a question for you, because Sanders is up to 14 carries already. Is, is there a point where his needle starts to dip towards E? It yeah. keeps on running him. He's actually tired right now. I'm looking at the play call screen. He is yellow stamina, which means he's pretty tired, and Blair's just taking his time, picking his play at the play call screen, as you see right there, trying to get Barry his energy back because he's more susceptible to fumbling. I think he's still yellow. If you're Blair, you got to be careful running right here. Blair does have Tony Pollard, too, to deploy. Going to keep that in your hip pocket. Running here on a second and six. Oh, yeah, there goes sticky. Barry Sanders. Go, Touchdown, baby. Blair. Finish. Finish. You see him say and finish, and it's not going to matter if Barry Sanders is tired or not if you can't get any hands on him and let him walk into the end zone. And that is just a huge touchdown for Blair because he is up two possessions, and now he gets to bring out that dominant defense that's looked so well so far in this game. Now's the time to respond if you straighten. Blair has ridden a 100-yard day from Barry Sanders. 
Isn't that something in a Vikings semifinal? You go old school Lions to talk about the, the man of the match. Well, this is a real deal running back. The run game's already good this year, and you see Barry Sanders take it in right Let's there. Go, baby. Finish. You know, Blair's career tournament record, a very middling 13 and 10, but he's up 13 nothing here. At least for now, Marvin Harrison trying to get Strafen back down the field. Yeah, there you go if you're Strafen. Big chunks of yardage. You've been in situations like this before. The experience factor obviously in your favor. You just got to execute. Looking to open the throttle. And he'll thread it in there. Got a diving catch at the 30-yard line. And remember, it's Harrison, Hall, and John Ross. He has loaded up that roster very well with receivers. Yeah, a lot of his cap spent on offense. Luck has to run and fire. He flings it to the 10. Move those chains. Right now, he's just mass pr max protecting, and he's got two crossing routes, both of them going across the field, and you just got to pick one to guard as he buys time with Luck. Good execution from Strafen. Luck back. And fires in there. Oh, somebody poked the bear. Strafen's awake. Yeah, the Grizzly, the Bear, the IP Strafen is definitely awake. That was a prolific drive and everything he needed to do to get himself back in the ball game. And now let's see if the defensive mastermind can stop Barry Sanders. Just guard against the champ Bailey return first. Yeah, and the ball's let's out! Go. Let's go, baby! Wow! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God. Give him it all. Holy. Oh, my goodness. What a turn, huh? You get it back in plus territory. Strafen had nothing all game. And Portis trying to get there for him again. This could be two scores in a minute. Oh, gee. If you're Blair, that is a tough break. You have looked so good with Barry Sanders. He doesn't even get a chance to get on the field because of the fumble on special teams. Portis sidestepping. Inside the five. And this could be where the difference in experience comes in. I.P. Strafen has been in this hot seat. He knows how to hang in there. He knows how to keep fighting. Blair, not as much of exper as much experience. So it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with this real adversity because that was a really bad break for him right there on that fumble. Champ Bailey coughing it up on the return. And now second and goal. They spot it at the four. Portis, the running back. Portis tripping his way. A push from behind. Touchdown! Your IB straight. And look at that focus of Ryan Danzig. You got to be feeling good. You know you have not played your best John Madden football here today. You've actually been sloppy on offense a couple times, but you still find yourself with the lead. That's got to be a big morale boost. He lasered that extra point, too. We saw a missed extra point. We watched Strafe and watch that and watch him shake his head and kind of go tisk tisk, saying, that's not going to happen for me. And sure enough, he dots the eye after Portis drags a man in. Still plenty of time here for Blair. And Barry Sanders, workhorse times two. Ed Reed blows him up. Yeah, and Strafen had good run defense right there. Had a few defenders shoot the gaps, but Barry Sanders just too fast still beats him to the numbers to the outside. We've called a lot of Deion Sanders today, but finally Barry Sanders gets his due. Boy, they are feeding him. And that's what you want to do if you're Blair. Strafen has had trouble stopping this. You said it's the key to your game to stay consistent with the run, and he's done that so far. Yes. And now he gets himself in an awkward third and four. And this is where you got to make a decision. Do you keep the ball in the hands of Barry, or do you let Watson try to make a play? Yeah, he really hasn't sprung Watson yet. We haven't seen any of that kind of dashing around that we thought we might. Not yet. There it is. Last yeah. play of the third quarter. Really got a dash here to get yeah. away. Finds an open man. It's Pollard. And Pollard with a stutter step. Pollard yeah. breaks the tackle. He's at the 28. As we throw up the fours and get ready. Boy, we are going to have a great last five minutes, bud. Oh, man, Josh. And uh, you might not have noticed it, but Fletcher Cox instantly threw the center out the way. He was coming after Watson. Blair has all the stick work in the world to move out of the way, escape from the pressure, and throws a laser down the field to get himself in field goal range. He's back in control. 
No way you're going to see the corner turn that time as they get towards 20 carries for Barry Sanders. And again, how long can you drive the car before you got to stop for a fill-up? Yeah, that Barry, I'm telling you, he, he has a lot of miles in the tank. That is a serious, serious mutt item. He's one of the best mutt items in the game. He's even better than that Clinton Portis that we've seen so much of. Now it's Blair to the air. Oh, and a misfire. Put that bullet pass in there, and the receiver turned the wrong way. It was bad stick work by Blair. He actually clicked onto that receiver, trying to turn him upfield too early and move them away from the landing spot. Mistake right there. That's huge. Instead of a first down, you're facing a third and 14. You're a point away from strafing here. If you're Blair, you got to be careful passing here, as crazy as that sounds, because if you take a sack and get yourself out of field goal range, you're not going to forgive yourself. He might run this ball, yep. I think he's going to go with the run. Yeah, because five or six yards, you're in field goal range, you'd think. And Barry Sanders will get it, and then some! Barry Sanders gone! Yeah, who, he says, you guys are thinking about a field goal. I'm thinking about getting myself a touchdown and taking control of this ball game. Now I'm going for two. That's good math skills right there to go for two. You bet. Make it a 21-14 game. It's been Barry all night long. Do you feed the beast again for two points? You try, yes, and you get it. One stop. Let's go. Look at the emotion of Blair. And he said he's been thinking about this. He wanted revenge for that 42-14 loss last year. Well, fair to say this is a little bit of a better game than their matchup last year. Ooh. Low, wow. Use a hit stick, too. That was all Blair laying that hit. All right, so you look at Barry Sanders and that last little swerve right there, and he couldn't get Palomalu over there in time, could strafe him. 4.15 to go. The winner gets Phenom. This ball hoisted deep. Marvin Harrison. Strafen is just killing him with this double crossers play out of the split close. Blair seems to have no answer. It's just a max protect scheme with two routes and the escape artist. He's got three routes this time. With good receivers in the coverage. And it's going the other way. House man. Champ Bailey. Had some redemption there. He fumbled a kickoff, but now it's a pick. And Blair is back in command. Yeah, that's the 92 overall champ Bailey. So he threw it at Blair's best cornerback. Blair clicks onto him, makes the play, makes Strafen pay. And he is back in complete control here, Josh. Strafen's turned it over three times, RG. More Barry Sanders ran into his own O-lineman. And Deion Sanders able to make the tackle of Barry Sanders. Part of the problem for Strafen is you can have run defense and stopping the run is hard in Madden 20, but stopping the run when you got Barry Sanders in that backfield with the jukebox, it becomes just that much more difficult. Three timeouts available here for Strafen. He might very well need them. These runs are coming in, in chunks here, usually sixes and sevens, but that time no game. Oh, this is big. If you're IB strafing, you got to be feeling the pressure. This was your tournament last year. You won this. You won this exact club. You went on to represent that club, make it all the way to the finals, make 70 grand, and now you see it possibly slipping through your grasp unless you can make a play here in the fourth quarter. Remember, Phenom said he wants strafing. He might get Blair instead. It's true. It's a good point. Hope he has run defense if that's the case. Sanders bursting! And that will move the chains and get the clock down towards the two-minute warning. And, you know, everybody loves an upset, I guess, except for the guy who's being upset. <laughs> but uh, how big of an upset would this be if Blair can come from where he was a 28-point loser a year ago in this game to actually beating him a second time? To give you some perspective on that, Josh, they did a poll on Twitter to, a poll on Twitter to say who was the favorite to win this event right here. Strafen was picked by 73% of the people. Blair, only 7%. They had the least amount of people picking him to win this club, so this would be a huge upset. This is like a 20-to-1 horse who got out of the gate well and is now looking to close. One timeout used already by Strafen. Remember, we got the two-minute warning, too. Barry Sanders all night long! Barry Sanders hunting for the end zone! Touchdown, Blair! Put away punch! Oh, man. 
Look at Blair in this Barry Sanders scheme looking so tough, exposing Strafen's run defense. Stop, but him Go. scoring right there could have been good for Strafen because now if you're IB Strafen and you can get a quick touchdown, you can have a chance for an onside kick. You still have two timeouts with the two-minute warning. Game's not over yet. We saw Phenom deploy that strategy that you're talking about back. in the first semifinal, right? He just kind of sat down instead of running it in. But here's Barry Sanders running it in. Should he have sat down at, say, the five-yard line? And you take another minute off the clock if you do that. Yeah, it's tough right there. I, I think I'm going down just knowing that I'm going to get into those timeouts, kick the field goal. But scoring a touchdown is not a terrible thing right there, especially when your defense has been playing the way. Chasing uh, luck playing. here. Yeah, and luck just has to throw it away. Shy of the two-minute warning, by the way. Which is big. Yeah, every second counts right now if you're striping. That two-minute warning help you out a little bit. Andrew Luck's got to get rid of it. And he does so. But no sale as we get to the two-minute warning. It's going to be a third and ten. And Strapen's in some serious trouble here. Yeah, he's going to his trips tight end. We haven't seen him in this much at all this game. This is usually, this was the formation that won him 70,000 last year. Let's see if he can cook up a miracle. It's a lot less money going home with him here unless there is that miracle you speak of. Luck stands and fires open. Man, he's got Ross who makes a move. And the patient has a pulse. There's still 1.44 to go. That was such a big play from Strapen. It looked like Blair was taking away everything away from him. He wanted the corner route. He stayed patient, waited for the receiver to break to the middle. Big game from Ross. He's back in business. He's only had to use one timeout. Can he get it in the end zone right here? You bet. Touchdown, Strafen. Yeah, and there he is. Look at the focus of Ryan Danzig. He's a height, plays Madden on the highest level, also has a full-time job as a gym teacher. His wife, Amy, back at the hotel room watching, cheering him on. Let's see if he can pull off some magic. Enough time left. He doesn't have to onside it. And yeah, he was telling us, I mean, this is a guy in Strafen who, who once posted his mutt roster from a lake on his honeymoon in the Philippines. I mean, that is being married to the game first. Oh, it's such a good story. And now can he play some great defense, get the ball back and have a shot? I bet you Snoop Dogg's back at home watching right now saying, come on, Strafen, what you gonna do, Jizzle? Barry Sanders. You just drop a jizzle out there, by the way? Yeah, for shizzle. All right. First time I've heard that come out of your mouth in three days, but I'll take it. Hey, not everybody's cool with Snoop like Strafen. You can make an exception when he's on the sticks. Barry he's Sanders run again. Run defense. There's no run defense. That's going to be it. I haven't seen a player lean on one running back this hard in this entire tournament, but it's really worked for Blair. And he told us that when we talked to him, Josh, he said, I need to just stick with Barry Sanders. I need to stick to my game plan. He did just.